Hey, you guys remember when I said speed rating is S? We'll get into that in another video. Well, today's another video, and today we're talking about speed ratings. Hi, I'm Kyle with DIY Auto Homeschool, and today we're talking about tire speed ratings. Now, the speed rating on a tire is the code that tells you the fastest speed that tire can travel safely without the risk of well, you know, like flying apart or something, which can be detrimental to maintaining control of your vehicle. So we have the Germans to thank for this speed rating system. Uh, years and years ago, it did not used to be around, but the Autobahn, which is Germany's federal controlled access highway system, uh, and is notorious for having no speed limit, which isn't entirely true, but it's beside the point. Um, it, it presented the need to match a tire speed capability to a vehicle speed capability so you didn't have a tire that was designed to be going like 75 miles an hour put on a car and run up to 140 on the autobahn i can see that that would turn out badly like really badly anyway so let's talk about some of the points of the the system and then we'll look at the uh speed rating on the tire that came from the vehicle that that little clip was from and we'll discuss why it's different than the one on the placard. So speed ratings, they're alphabetical, they're, they're letters, yeah, letters, and they start at A1, which is three miles an hour. So that is not included in most of the, uh, most of the charts that you see. Most of the charts you see are going to start at L and end at Y or Y in parentheses. So all of the speed ratings are incrementally higher and alphabetical in order, except for H, Z, W, and Y, and then Y in parentheses also. So the speed rating indicates the maximum safe speed that the tire can travel at. Now, with the higher speed capabilities, you're going to have tires that are probably have stickier tread or a stickier uh, grip on the road, uh, less tread life, and they're going to be higher performance tires, but the speed rating itself is not a performance indicator. Uh, it only indicates the maximum speed that that tire can travel at. So, if you look at L, uh, M, N, O, P, o going up through there, the ones you'll see out of order are H, because when they first developed the system, they said 130 miles an hour up, that, that's it, that's high performance. That's what the H was supposed to mean, was high performance tires. Nobody's ever gonna have to go faster than that. That's the end of it. So that was 130, and it was a step up from some of the other uh, ratings that they had, so they just left that gap in speed there. Well, as vehicle technology progressed, there was the need to fill in the gaps going up to there. So there are letters that come after H in the alphabet that are before H on the tire speed rating chart. And I'll link, uh, I'll put a link in the description of this video to uh, a full chart so you can see what all of the speed ratings and the speed that they relate to are. Uh, but I didn't really have room to fit that on the board here, but I'll put a link in the description for you to check that out. So next, after they realized that that wasn't going to work, they came up with Z-rated tires. And a lot of people are familiar with Z-rated tires. They're fast tires because they are 149 miles an hour plus rated, meaning 149 miles an hour and over are Z-rated tires. Well, we made the same mistake again because we thought 149 miles an hour, that's probably it. You know, nobody's gonna be going faster than 149 miles an hour. So we're just gonna make that the last letter of the alphabet, that's the end. Well, then we started going faster than 149 miles an hour and there was a need to change the system yet again. So that's where we get our W and Y. Now the W is 168 miles an hour and the Y is 186 miles an hour. And if you see a Y in parentheses, that indicates that it's 186 plus. I think we made the same assumption again that no one's ever gonna need to go faster than 186, which 
has been proven wrong with some of the faster production vehicles recently. But that's the system we have in place and that's what's there. Some of the vehicles that do travel faster than that, like from the factory, uh, one that you know most of you have probably heard of, the uh, Bugatti Veyron, which was 253 miles an hour. Uh, their tires are made by Michelin, especially for the, that vehicle, and uh, I'm not certain what the speed rating is on those. I guess by definition it would have to be Y in parentheses. Uh, so it's not uncommon actually to see a Z in the actual size of the tire, and then after it in the speed rating to see a W or a Y. The Z in the tire size indicates that the tire is capable of traveling over 149 miles an hour, and then the W or Y or Y in parentheses would indicate more precisely what speed that tire is capable of traveling at. To me, it's a little pointless to put the Z in the tire size if you're going to have the W or Y up there, but people still do it. Some people buy tires because they won't buy a tire unless it says Z in it. I, it is what it is. That's the system we've got. So let's uh, look at the tire that came off of that vehicle that we looked at the clip for the S speed rating. Uh, I almost didn't catch it, but I caught it in one small little clip what the uh, speed rating is, and we'll look at it right here. And for those of you who are familiar with these, you'll know that this is the wrong tire size. This is a 265 75 16, and this vehicle calls for a 265 70 16. And as you could see, the, the code there was 116T. Now, the 116 or 116, that's the load index, and we'll get into that in another video. But the speed rating is T. Now, a T speed rating is a maximum speed of 118 miles an hour while an S speed rating, which the vehicle called for, is a maximum speed of 112 miles an hour. In this case, it is perfectly acceptable to have that difference because you have a speed rated tire that is a higher speed than what it calls for, meaning that you are above and beyond the safety margin that they want. They want you to be able to have a tire that can travel up to 112 miles an hour on that vehicle, you have a tire that can travel up to 118 miles an hour, and that is perfectly acceptable to error going higher in your speed capability. You don't ever want to put one on that's lower. So if you differ from the recommended speed rating, you always want to go with a speed rating that's higher, not lower. So I hope it gives you a good idea, a good understanding of what the speed rating system is, why we have it, and uh, the, the purpose that it serves for tires and safety uh, on the highways and roadways, and the Autobahn as well. Um, they need to keep a lot of things in check on that road. Uh, like I said, there'll be a link in the description to the full list of what the speed rating, you know, no, the letters are and the speed that they relate to. Now, don't be too confused or upset. The miles per hour, they're a little bit funky. As you can see, 112 at 118. Um, these speed ratings were developed in kilometers per hour and then translated to miles per hour. That's why it looks a little funky on the miles per hour side. So thank you for taking the time to check out the video. Check out some of the other videos we got on the channel. As usual, I'll try to put one like right here. I think I'm, I'm getting this down. I think it's right there. And I will see you guys in the next video.